Hey Nerdy Knitter, have you ever wondered how a bias arrow shawl is knit? We're going to look at that in this video and by the end you'll be able to knit one for yourself. But before we look at that, I just want to say hey, I'm Tanya here at Nerdy Knitting. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a knitwear designer and my goal is to help you become a more confident, adventurous knitter. Now if you're not quite sure what a bias arrow shawl is, this is an example right here, Camp Wilkerson by Caitlin Hunter. And if you look at the way those stripes are running, you can see that they're running off in two different directions. You get that bias shaping that goes off two ways. Now that's created by working your decreases at the edges and then two increases right along the center or reversing that and working your increases at both edges and your decreases at the center. Both ways will get you this bias arrow shape. Now that you understand the basic instruction, let's practice knitting one together. You'll find this free pattern linked down below. Click that link, save it to your device, grab your yarn and needles, and let's start knitting a little swatch so you can practice this method. This shawl shape is actually fairly simple to work. You'll start by casting on your stitches. Our little sample casts on 19. Then once you've cast on, you're going to work a setup row. You're just going to knit across your stitches for this row. And then our right side rows are really the only rows we have to pay attention to. And then the wrong side rows, you can choose whether you want to work in garter stitch or stockinette. So our right side rows, we're going to start by knitting two stitches and then working our decrease, working to the center, working our increases, working to the other edge and decreasing again and knitting two. So it's knit two, knit two together to start. In our little sample here, we have five stitches in each side of the arrow shape. Once you knit those first five, you're going to work the increase for this side, which is a make one right. And then work that center spine stitch. And then work a make one left. And then knit five. Or until you're just down to your edge stitches again. work in SSK and then knit those final two stitches. And you're going to repeat this for every right side row. And then on the wrong side rows, you could either knit to the end for a garter stitch shawl, or if you wanted it to have a stockinette stitch body, then you would work a few edge stitches in garter stitch and then purl across. That's what I'm going to do in our sample here. I'm going to knit three, purl across the body stitches and then knit the final three again and that will give me a stockinette stitch sample for this little swatch. And that's really all there is to it. You're just going to repeat that right side row instruction again. So knit two, knit two together, work to the center of our shawl shape. And after you've worked a few rows, then you'll start to see where that center stitch is. Work a make one right. Knit that center stitch, then work a make one left. knit to the other edge. In this sample, I'm knitting five stitches. Work that SSK and then knit two together. And that's all there is to knitting this type of shawl. Continue that and then you'll see that you can see that shape developing. And there's no special technique needed. You're just going to bind off when you're ready and it's going to create a point. Now that you know how to knit a basic shawl in this shape, you can combine stitch patterns or colors or add lots of different things and really create a unique bias arrow shawl for yourself. And if you haven't gotten your free pattern yet, be sure to click in the link in the video description box to download your free copy of the pattern. But did you know there's actually more ways to knit rectangular shawl shapes? There's actually seven different ways and I cover them all in this video. If you'd like to learn more about those different methods and get some more free patterns, be sure to click through and watch that video. I'll see you in the next video.